Oh, it is on. Hello. Hello, YouTube. Hello, this is your commander here speaking. Um, today, I'm going to do something very weird. It's not weird at all, but I like to think it's weird. I've been progressing since last video because I was stuck on a problem and wanted to figure it out before actually trying out how to do it uh, on camera and messing up radically. So I played it on it with on my own. I found a solution. I found a, a few bugs. I had two major bugs. I fixed one that actually made Unity crash. So that's good. I still have one left and I'll show you that later on. I don't know how to fix it yet, but that's going to be what I'll be doing. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you the code that I have, show you what I got going on so far, and just, you know, show you what I did. Because I don't, I, that, yeah, that's it. Uh, let's, let's jump into it. Oh, that was such a creepy smile. <laughs> oh, I hope that I get this as the, uh, the capture thing. Okay, whatever. All right, so we're now in the button press. Woo! Uh, when you click a button, I am player one. I am the the the, the main guy. Player one. Anyway, I play. We've all we've all done this before. Is this big enough? I don't freaking know. Um, and we play. And then, if there is an AI, I'm gonna play the AI's turn. And this part of the if statement is what I didn't put in the first time. So I was trying to, the code was trying to do something with the AI, but it couldn't because of the rules that I had set previously and it would just crash basically because it couldn't execute uh, the top of the function because it was trying to do the if. But there is no if breaking if you add this little clause here to that if statement. So now if my, it's my AI's turn and not all of the board is used up. If there's space, it will play. What I do is, uh, oh, I actually just call the play AI function that I have defined in game mechanics. Let's go see that. So in game mechanics, I have my refactoring uh, goodness right there. Uh, play AI turn. So I remember, I think we did the create random last time and we checked that it worked or not. And it did. It basically generated a random number. If there was already something in that position, it would regenerate a number and start over. So that works and that's fine and dandy. Uh, next that I've done is I need to be able to go access my um, images. When you do a button press, it's easy because the, 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 the trigger for the script run is actually when you click the button. When you're doing it through code, you're not clicking anything, so it doesn't know where to put it. Um, and in Unity, where am I? Oh, here. I remember that my, oh, I'm so confused, my game scene, all of these had a name. I tried to find it by name, but I had no luck, so I just created tags and put tags with them, which is what I've done here. I'm Basically finding the tag that matches, ooh, before that, okay, getting ahead of myself. Finding a tag that matches the name, that matches the position and where it is in the board. So I've basically redone this terrible switch statement uh, to the opposite. So, if, you know, in the case that uh, my array position is zero, then it should be top left. Because if we remember the AI, when it plays, it generates a position in the array, figures out if there's something there or not. If there's nothing there in that array, then it will place their own move in that position. Whew. So we actually put it in the, the array. We say, okay, you're going to be O. And then we go and find uh, the string that is uh, represented by that position. And I named it tile. Then I find the tag that matches the tile. Um, and then I create a, I find my image in my hierarchy, in this, I can't pronounce that word. Hierarchy, I'm just gonna go in French. Such easy, such beauty, such a beauty. So I find this image and then I assign it to the sprite in the same way that we would do it here with the button press. Here we just go, uh, get component image sprite equals whatever. 
Now I say you spray your equal this one. Oops, this one right here. Once that's done, we validate, of course, if someone has one or not. Um, so that's what I've done that is new, I believe. I've done nothing else. Uh, I changed my... Here, I changed it to 8 instead of 9, but that doesn't really matter to you guys. And uh, that's about it. So let's go see what happens now, because now the AI works and it's amazing. So if we go one player and say I let them win, oh now they won't. It says they won, which is awesome. I still haven't done the retry button, but we'll get to that. Then the bug that I had is if I end up reaching here, this last position, when I used to click it would just freeze my unity and it wouldn't work. Now it says it's a draw, so we're pretty happy about that. So I can win, AI can win, everything works. But this is the bug I was telling you about right there. You've clearly seen it. You're like, what the heck are those white squares, girl? They meant to be O's, yes. That is my issue. This is what I have left to do and work on to fix. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to fix those. Step one. And step two, I want to... Uh, I don't like these at all. Even when I was making them, I said I didn't like them. So these switch statements, what I think I'm going to do is back in Unity. When I name these, I'll just name them 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to 8. And have a uh, parse the int to string or the string to int. That way I don't have any of these switch statements. And it'll be um, perhaps... Well, it'll make me happy because it, it won't be as bad. I don't know if it's good practice to parse things necessarily, but I also know that uh, switches are not necessarily good practice either, so... Mm -hmm. Lesser of two evils, I guess. Uh, that's it. That's your update. That's your update right there on what's going on with this project. And I will also get the uh, retry here working and uh, the title screen working. Uh, but we've already established how that works, so I'm not gonna... Code it again. You can check the previous videos where I load game scenes uh, like this. Scene manager, load scene, and then take the number from your build settings. So that's what's happening with the game right now. It's pretty neat, and once it'll be done, I will put a link uh, to the game uploaded online so that you can try it and play it and have such good fun with your friends. I mean, you can make a drinking game out of it, and that could be exciting, you know, but... So there we go, that's, that's, that's where I'm at right now, so drop a like, drop a comment, I, I'm so bad at self-promotion. Anyway, I enjoy doing this, I'm doing it for me, so guys, have fun.